Cody, do you just want to have sex with her because she's 108? Because she's Betty White, man. Then you can say you fucked Betty White. But that's fair. No, honestly, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, what's up, Cody? Not much, man. What's up with you? Oh, not a lot. What's uh, what's new? I don't know, man. Let's ask the eight wall. Welcome. Uh, who, who well, you fuck that's more famous than Betty White? Uh, it's true. <laughs> right? Cloris Leach went to Roosevelt. I should hit her <laughs> up. We can be in the Roosevelt Hall of Fame together. Yeah, there you go. Uh, welcome uh, to this week's episode of Ask the Eight Ball Podcast. Uh, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know what episode it is this anymore. This is episode 13? 34 total, episode uh, 12 of season 2. Are you sure it's 12 or is it 13? I'm pretty positive it's 12. Okay, well, either way, we'd like to welcome our guest tonight. Um, you may have heard about the farmer's market, Shotgun Betty's, or other Iowa local t- taverns, restaurants, bars, musical places. <laughs> Did you say Mike Jones? Ryan Jones. I don't know who Ryan Jones is. Uh, uh, right here. Ryan Jones? Is Ryan, that your, Ryan is, Jones. Is that your alter ego? No, it's my name. Ryan Jones. Yeah, Google me. <laughs> right. Okay. Ryan Jones. That's fair. So to be fair, um, Cody texted me. He said, I have our guest book for a week. I said, who's on? He said, Royce the 5'9". That's what I thought. Because he's Royce and he's 5'9". Welcome to hell. Yeah. So I prepped all of my questions for Royce the 5'9 to be our guest. Dude, I love Royce 5'9". Welcome to Hell the sequel is probably one of the best hip-hop albums ever. Cody, do you know Royce the 5'9"? Yeah. Obviously, he plays with Eminem. He's on a bunch of Eminem tracks. Okay, okay. So this is going to be awkward because uh, a lot of my questions are created towards him. That's okay. <laughs> he's I'll thought, answer, I thought I'll it was answer. Royce the 5'9 was our guest. Ironically, I prepared... To answer questions about Royce the Five Nine, perfect, nice. In all actuality, our guest, Royce Johns, or would you say Ryan John? Ryan, Ryan Jones. Jones. Ryan it's Jones. My drinking Far- alias. Farmers uh-huh. Market uh, top four best country artists. <laughs> top four at the farmers market. <laughs> top four farmers market. Wow, <laughs> classic. <laughs> top four, baby. That's all uh, I want. <laughs> hey, that's fair. That's better than top five. I'll yeah. take it. Uh, so throughout the show, now. in case uh, you're new to the show, uh, we do an award called the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. <laughs> uh, so if you have anyone you nom- want to nominate for the Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week, we'll do that later in the show. Uh, we also do a segment called The Blitz. It's my turn to ask The Blitz, so I'll fire off rapid fire questions to you and Cody. You'll answer them to quick as you can. Well, we're not doing it yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you can sit by me. <laughs> and I get it. Marshall smells. That's well. Yeah, I smell <laughs> like bebops. You got that stanky breath. Uh, we also do a thing called the name game. Who is? I'll tell you uh, someone's real name, and you tell me their celebrity name. Well, I got two names too for that this oh, week. Oh, nice. Uh, what else? Oh, Cody, did you bring some Mad Libs this week? I got a Mad Lib for you. Nice. And we'll also go through some of your pictures. Yeah. Well, it's, I kind of dug into your Facebook and your Instagram. Got some pictures of you. So we'll see if you can answer some questions about those. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, we'll just continue this interview. <laughs> we'll be good to go. So with all that being said, um, I might have told you before we started that I thought Cody had booked Royce to 5'9". Obviously, you're not Royce to 5'9". He is Royce that is 5'9", though. Yes. So a lot of our questions throughout the show were based around you being Royce to 5'9". So what's Eminem like? Yeah. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> total family man. Yeah. yeah, total family man. <laughs> Loves his mama. Loves B- his mama. Loves his daughter. Mm. Big fan. How's, uh, what's your favorite part of Detroit? Huh? What's your favorite part of Detroit? Uh, the um, leaving. <laughs> that's, that's actually the correct answer. <laughs> I think you wrapped about that in uh, your last album. Yeah. Uh, congrats on the Grammy nomination from 2020. Or Thank you. 2010. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, 2022. It's got that futuristic flow. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Um, God. I wrote it myself. So you did just drop a new album, though, didn't you? I did. November 1st. Titled uh, One Last Two Step? One Last Two Step. Okay. Where can you get that at? One Last Two Step. Huh? Where can you get that at? Uh, iTunes, Spotify, my website, RoyceJohns.com backslash one last (laughs) <laughs> just one last. Just one last. Yeah, yeah. Because two step was too much. <laughs> okay. Too yeah, okay. That's hey, that's fair. That's like uh, our promo code for Lola's just yeah. Eight, ask the eight ball. Yeah. The extra podcast was too many. Too many yeah, letters. Yeah, letters. <laughs> and I'm good with that. Um, so we noticed before you were in a band. 
with a couple of old dudes. Is that correct? That's that's correct. So when are you guys doing your reunion tour? Uh, twenty twenty thirty seven. Twenty thirty seven. Yeah. What was it called? Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln Railway. Lincoln Roadhouse. Link, yes, that's Lincoln close. Roadhouse. The reunion tour. It's was called. It it's called after the your farewell. Favorite Patrick Swayze movie. Yeah. Was it actually. Yeah, man. Nice. Could you Roadhouse. put? Could you put baby in the corner? Huh? Could you put baby in the corner? No. no Nobody no. can. Nobody can. No, no, so, no. being a guitarist, you have a guitar face. Yeah. Do you have a favorite guitar face, though? Yeah, John Mayer's guitar face, man. <laughs> you ever seen, like, uh, the, where, where people Photoshop slugs in the place of the, gu- in the, of the guitar? And, like, <laughs> like, they're playing no. a slug? I've heard that memes, but I've never... Oh, God, it's great. It's so funny. John John Mayer memes. Oh, dude, no! It's like all the famous guitar players playing slugs. Oh, really? It's fantastic. With their guitar face. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Do you think that's what the women love most about John Mayer? Is that face? Because he's got a lot of like hot women in his life. My girl, I mean, my, my girl Taylor maybe, Swift. Maybe the music. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Are you a big John Mayer? Oh yeah. Fan? Yeah. John Mayer is probably one of the best living guitar blues guitar players. Top three. But you, in general, like listening to his music? Oh, yeah. Okay, Dude. okay. Room for Square is a great album. I've, I've listened to every Mayer album up until, like, I think his last, his EXO, when it kind of got really poppy. He's a fantastic guitar player, man. He's a great singer. And his, his live show, yeah. it's 2007's uh, live uh, Sony film or whatever. Okay. I mean, he is, he, with one man, one guitar, there, you would be hard-pressed. Eric Clapton even referred to him as a master. I mean, it's like... Interesting. Yeah. Have you seen um, Ed Sheeran? Are you an Ed Sheeran fan? Uh, I've never seen him, but... So he, he's the only guy I've ever actually watched in concert where he's just one guy on stage doing all Yeah, he all does a looper. He's, yeah, he's it, a yes. loop, loop stage. It's super fun. A boss RC500. He gets a, he gets a bat, like He's the kind of like the this generation's Nickelback, I feel like. Ed Sheeran? Yeah. No. no. Like, no. Everybody, like everybody, nobody likes him because he's... I don't think that's true. Really? Yeah, I think people like Ed Sheeran. I think they r- make fun of him a lot. I mean, people like Nickelback, though, too. Because he's British? I actually like Nickelback. I've listened to every record from Silver Side Up uh, forward, man. I, I actually I saw him live in concert 2014. Fantastic show. Fuck what all these Nickelback haters <laughs> say. <laughs> Fuck them. They have so many. They did so many the, hits. Uh, they did do the theme song for Monday Night Raw for like two or three years straight. Really? Yeah. Burn It Down, I think it was called. Yeah, man. Yeah, not my. I mean, not my. It's cup not of their tea, fault. It's not their fault. Their following is just a douche canoe. <laughs> <But it's, laughs> That's true. They put out well polished, fantastic fucking yeah. records. They, Sorry. I feel like they're the people that like Nickelback are the parents of the people who like Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> Maybe because it's all basically the same kind of. I can't style. stand Florida Georgia Line, but I love Nickelback. I don't know why. Well, that's fair. I don't mind Florida Georgia Line, but I hate Nickelback. Yeah, I'm saying like, I don't mind Florida. But I'm not Georgia a big country Line. music okay. guy. That's all our right. country. I grew up, like my first country song I remember ever listening to was um, "I Am the Greatest" by Kenny Rogers. Oh, the Gambler. That's no same same artist, different song. No, but he's the Gambler. Yeah. Have you ever had Kenny Rogers fried chicken? No. Does Kenny Rogers own a fried chicken Seinfeld place? Seinfeld reference, you son of a bitch. Oh, I don't. Ah, sorry, that one didn't stick. My bad. Do you watch Seinfeld? Big Bang Theory. Thank God. <laughs> All right, finally a guest that doesn't like watch Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Sorry, bud. You've been losing that. You've been Man, losing that one. I've been getting killed on that one. So, Royce, according to my research, you used to sell cars. Yeah. Uh, and it looked like you sold a ZR1 to who was that? It looked like uh, was it Keith Murphy? According, <laughs> according to my research. Uh, no. <laughs> we have a research team. They're very yeah. Uh, research team was actually a guy passed out on the couch in the back early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was, yeah. Bertles, tri- Bertles over here tried to take credit. We're like, hey guys, I'll do research. He's been doing research all day, so he was stressed out. He's tired. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. He just That's needed a break. When I, when I research all day, I go pass out at a tequila bar yeah. and you get thrown out. That makes also, me feel a lot better. Big shout out to uh, home for the show tonight, Coa Cantina over in the East Village. Uh, was it 425 Grand Avenue, right across the street from. Uh, Bellhop and Zombie Burger. Just down from Zombie, yeah. yeah. Yep. Fantastic location. Suggest you check it out. Good, uh, good feel. I like it. I like it here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, plug, uh, look at just plugging people. <laughs> do you ever? Do you s- still sell cars? No, I did that when I was seventeen. I worked at Carl Chevrolet. Okay. I, I did your dealer for life. Your dealer for life. I did a. Uh, 
I did detail and I did delivery. And then when I turned 18, I did new car sales. And uh, I sold that ZR1 summer 2013. Guy called in from Minnesota. He wanted a Camaro, and we were looking at Camaros. And I'm like, well, you're already spending 60 grand. I'm like, you might as well go get like a base Corvette. And he's like, okay. So we we're looking at those. And I'm like, all right, well, you get a, for about another 20 grand, you get a Z06. He's like, I like that. So we were driving around a Z06, and then I'm like, well, you're already spending 90 grand on this, this, this Grand I think it's a Z06 or Grand Sport. And I'm like, might as well buy a ZR1. It's only like 116 grand. And he's like, cool. So we test, we, we, we uh, drove it up and down the interstate, 638 horse, supercharged, just a goofy, just a goofy mobile. And uh, he bought it. It's pretty That's dope. That's a hell of an upsell. It's a sixty thousand dollars upsell. Absolutely. Those. And you left that business. Oh God, yeah. It's a meat grinder. Yeah. yeah that's, that's fair. I uh, the, I can I can attest my uh, country music, quote unquote, career to quitting car sales because I, <laughs> I hated it so much. I'm like, I'm never gonna wear a tie to work again. So being a car salesman drove you into the ever popular being a country artist band. Oh yeah. Maybe I'm wrong in this. Do you know uh, country artist Jason Brown? I Over know Brown? him, yes. yes. Did he do the jingle for Carl Chevrolet? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what I thought. So that was a quick side note. I just couldn't think that. You know, we always talk about jingles on the show. That's one of the better jingles, too. What's the jingle? Your dealer for life, Carl Chevrolet. You know who wrote that jingle? Bob Pace. You oh, know? the Bob Pace bands. Yep. Yeah. Bob, Bob Pace wrote that, and most of the instrumental is him playing. And, you know, the joke Bob told me, he's like, you know, Jason got a truck every year. He's like, you know what I got? 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems so, fair. What a deal. Seems fair. What a deal. Goes to show. Uh, Bob Bates, that guy was, he used to play at a... Work was release. Grand, that Grand Gasland. Yeah. Every gas Friday. Now, but. So yeah. you're the second uh, car salesman we've had on the show now. Oh, yeah, we had Walt. We had Walt yeah. on, yeah. And Walt. Walt, Walt Lehman. Lehman. Where's, he, where's he sell at? Mercedes. Yeah, he, He's he's, he did Lithia for years, and he's a Mercedes. Yeah. I've heard that name from he someone. He was in DDP. They don't really do anything anymore. They're an old group. Okay. They just did kind of, they did like farmer's markets and random like Sunday fun Bacon Fest shows. and stuff like Bacon that. Bacon Fest. They did covers. I I know his name. Or some, some, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. He's uh, the super, he used to be super a, handsome guy. He used to be kind show. of a big deal, and now he's just big. Nice. <laughs> Shitting on the former guest. Like <laughs> I'm it. just giving you shit, Walt. I like it. He's yeah. actually lost uh, 14 pounds, I heard. Yeah, nice. Nice. Him and, him and Bruce are in that competition. TDP, you mean Dad 5? No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad oh. V. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. not DDP. It's, it's That's, they used to be, and then they switched to Dad yeah, V once, dad, they, once they got back together. Yeah, it's Dad oh, really? 5. Yeah, yeah. You know, he told me, he's like, so you know what it means, right? Oh, yeah. So I asked him, I'm like, what's that mean? And he told me, he's like, you know, the really funny part is we were doing this... Uh, we we did we did the show for a children's hospital and they had our <laughs> name on posters everywhere. What's yeah, Dad Five us, mean? He told us the story during the podcast about Dad doing five? the children's show. Oh yeah, what's Dad Five mean though? Cody, if you have to ask, I can't tell you. Oh Jesus! That we we did a show at Beer Can Alley together during Bacon Fest. Yeah, I, yeah, I was playing, and then he uh, um, is is Walt. Which one is? I, I He's the chubbier guy. Yeah. And then Mike's the the guy who plays yeah. the guitar. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Walt is a funny motherfucker. Yeah. He's, He's so full of energy. He's like, family tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it all he has up there. So that's oh, awesome. He goes hard. And he loves Darius Rucker. Darius Rucker? Yeah, because he's from South Carolina. So oh. So whenever, he's a hootie, if he jumps on fan? stage and sings to somebody, he'll sing Hootie and the Blowfish or uh, anything Darius Rucker. Okay. Um, gotcha. Well, throughout the show here, also we'll do a uh, fake sponsor of the week. We have real sponsors, Lola's, Bebop's, but we also have a fake sponsor. We do it every week. So we're rolling into that. We'll come right back. We'll go into the Blitz. We'll catch you guys in a second. Hello? Hey, Todd. It's your girl, Stacy, on my new Swatch phone. Stacy, baby, what's shaking? I've got some news. I'm pregnant. Baby, are you there? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. On my new Swatch phone. I've got news, too. What's that? I've got AIDS. Babe, you there? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. The sound quality's great. 
swatch gives you more than the time of day. Music's funky. I like it. Yeah. Welcome to the tequila bar. Tequila bar. Makes me want to drink some uh, Terramana, that Dwayne Rock Johnson tequila. Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, he, gonna, is he gonna sell that at uh, XFL? No, he should. Thanks to our fake sponsor <laughs> of the week. Um, not to be confused with our real sponsors. We'll get more into the real sponsors here in a little bit. But uh, as always, coming out of the first commercial break, we like to go right into a little segment called The Blitz. Hit me. Hot, hot, hot. It's, it's a blitz. It's, it's a blitz. It's, it's a blitz. Yeah, it's a blitz. Let's go. All right, Blitz. This week, six questions. Royce, I'm going to ask you first. Throw out your first answer you got. Then we'll go to Cody. <clears throat> then we'll compare answers. All right. All right. Question number one. George Strait or Garth Brooks? George Strait. Question number two. What's the most creative insult you can come up with? To who? Anyone. Oh, Cody. You have, you have to tailor it. To, you have to tailor Cody. it to the person. Oh, to Cody? Yeah. Shave the fucking mustache, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your fucking mustache, Cody. <laughs> This mustache is awesome. Uh, question three. If you could be a part of any TV family, which would you pick? Oh, oh, uh, 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 George Lopez. Okay, interesting answer. Uh, question four. What's the most disturbing song someone could play during sex? Uh, 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 Jesus Christ. Um. It's, a, it's a fucked up question. It's <laughs> a methodical answer. Uh, I don't know. Okay, don't know. we can we can bounce back. Circle back. Yeah, yeah, circle back. Question five: You can flip a switch that'll wipe any musical act off the face of the earth. Who do you pick? Cardi B. Oh, bye. Se- senior concert, terrible. Oh man, no, goodbye. You stole my answer there. Uh, yeah, I didn't go on yeah, purpose. It's, it's a bad uh, practice. And the last question, which is question number six: If you were to run for governor in 2022, what would your campaign slogan be? <laughs> Turn the mics up. <laughs> that's a good slogan. That's Turn a good the mics slogan. Up. Uh, no, I, that's a slogan. Turn the mics up. <laughs> right. Drop the truth. <laughs> and we'll circle back. Uh, most disturbing song someone could play during sex. Uh, you flip the switch. I'm a Duma Falachi. I don't know that one, but <clears throat> you can't roller yeah. skate in a buffalo herd. Good, good answer. All right, Cody, your turn. Kay. Question one: George Strait or Garth Brooks? Garth. Fuck you, Cody. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. What's the most creative insult you can come up with about Royce? Oh, Royce? Yep. And I, I think I said it earlier. He's the fourth best country artist at the farmer's market. Okay. Okay. That's a creative insult. Uh, Question three. If you could be a part of any TV family, which would you pick? Uh, Will Smith's family on Fresh Prince. Oh. Oh, that, that's a good one. That's a yeah. good That is a good yeah, answer. That's a good one. Um, what's the most disturbing song someone could play during sex? Uh, anything by BTS. How dare you? <laughs> That's K-pop legends. How dare you? Uh, question five. You can flip a switch that'll wipe any musical act off the face of the earth. Who do you pick? BTS. You motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want to win this, do you? <laughs> and last one. If you were to run for governor in 2022, what would your campaign slogan be? Can't do any worse than Kim. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice, that's a good one. Okay, well, let's compare answers. Uh, George Strait or Garth Brooks? Uh, I mean, he's a country guy. Probably give him the edge. I prefer Garth Brooks, but I don't like country music, so my opinion See, does not jo- matter. George Strait, because I give him that because George Strait's done. You'll never be able to see him again. But I've heard Garth Brooks puts on just the most, the best country show. It sh- is a good concert. The show of all time. Uh, most creative insult you can come up with. What would you say, Cody? I said Royce is like oh, the fourth best, fourth best country artist at the farmers market. And he said, "Shave your mustache." <laughs> the mustache is fantastic. See, I love mustache. <laughs> yeah, it's November. Uh, I was hoping one of you would call the other one a chromosome hoarder, but that did a not chromosome work. Chromosome hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the mustache answer. That's a good. One. Um, if you could be a part of any TV family, which you pick, Fresh Prince got to be the winner. Yeah. No offense to George Lopez. No, I agree. Uh, most disturbing song someone could play during sex. What'd you say, Cody? Anything but BTS. Yeah, see, you're not gonna win that. <laughs> Roller skate the Buffalo herd. Correct answer. Flip a switch, wipe any music act off face of the earth. Who do you pick? Cardi B. Correct. Cardi answer. B would have been my choice, but he, he stole that I, one from me. So when I wrote that, I was like, this motherfucker's gonna say Kanye West. <laughs> I know he's gonna say it just to piss me off. Uh, if you run for governor in 2022, what would your campaign slogan be? Turn off the mics. <laughs> Turn off the mics. <laughs> That's a fantastic slogan. <laughs> and if I run, I'm gonna use that. 
Turn off the mic. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a press conference. What do you have to say about this upcoming election? Turn off the mics. Marshall's running for governor in 2022. Did you know that? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Connie ran for president. I'd vote for him. Yeah. Connie, yeah. I heard Connie is the one demanding a recount. He got 10,000 <laughs> votes in Tennessee. <laughs> so He's wild. only 10, I see. Wow. I didn't know you swung like that. Cody, good for you. <laughs> and that, my friends, was the Blitz. Cody, you lose again. <laughs> hey, I got one win under my belt. That's true, you do. Um, should we go into uh, you want to go into your Ooh, Mad Libs? Anyway, yeah, I've got a Mad I've got one Mad Lib here. Yeah. Let's uh, let's kind of put it together all. So it's not very long because I didn't know how good it was going to be and if it was going to make sense, but we'll give it a try. So I felt a little adjective. Need an adjective. Are you asking me? Any, either one of you. Need an adjective. Adjective. Hesitant. Felt a little hesitant. Okay. I was trying to figure out what an adjective was. <laughs> As I counted out the noun. Um, uh, tequila. As I counted out the tequila? Okay. We're at a tequila bar. That's true, we are. Shout out, Coa Cantina. But what a adverb. Mm. What a joy. What a joy. I think, I think Royce knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got when verb uh running <laughs> <laughs> that was my <laughs> this is going to be terrible behind the noun uh bathroom oh. door <laughs> okay i opened up the pronoun and then a noun purple door Okay. There you go. <laughs> Purple starfish. Purple starfish? Purple starfish. And the hot dog flavored water. Limp biscuit. Great album. That's when I found the adjective. Uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So, I felt a little hesitant as I counted out the tequila, but what a joy I got when running behind the bathroom door. I opened up the purple starfish. That's when I found the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Bam! That's a good one. That was, that was glorious. Do you know what song I was trying to get out there? What? I felt a little guilty for the count out, out the, the bills. bills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Private Malone. Yeah, great song. That is a good one. Was that Post Malone? Pri- uh, David Ball, David Private Ball. Malone. Oh, never heard of it. Royce, play, Royce played it at Betty's a couple weeks ago. It's the first time I've ever heard somebody play it live. Nice. It's, it's one, one of my favorite, favorite songs, songs of all time. Nice. Um, one of my favorite things of all time is looking up jokes on the internet. <laughs> I was trying to tailor our jokes towards our guest. This week I looked up uh, country music jokes. Hit me. <clears throat> all right. When you listen to rock music backwards, you hear satanic messages. When you listen to country music backwards, do you know what happens? No. You get your wife, your life, and your dog back. <laughs> I have heard that joke before, actually. That's a good one. All right. Second one. Uh is Africa by Toto country music? Of course. Uh, no, it's continent music. Nice. Jeez. Huh? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> getting, getting lazy with the mic there, right? Yeah, it's like a lapel. It's like <laughs> one of those clip-on mics, but bigger. Nice. Is the switch staying on, though? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Welcome to the ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I am your <laughs> wedding guy. Number three, music can take you places. Uh, today, for example, they put on country music, and I went to the next bar. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, for why are tubas, or sorry, why aren't tubas used in heavy metal? Or I just fucked the whole joke up. Wow. Uh, why aren't tubas used in country bands? Because it's heavy metal. Yes. Damn it. <sighs> the internet. Wow. Man. Good the thing internet. you don't you read left to right. Don't do stand up. No. Left to right. I, I was thinking of country backwards, and I read the joke backwards. Uh, last one. How many country singers does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to change it, and one to write a song about the old one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Nice. <clears throat> so, Royce, what's your favorite unmotivational quote? Uh, what? Do you have an un? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get. You know the how they have motivational quotes? I feel like they should have unmotivational what, what's, quotes. What's the motivational quote? Give me one. Like, uh, you the. The, you gotta turn that no into a, every, every no you get is not a, it's not a no it's a not yet. Okay. So keep trying. Yep. So what's an un- unmotivational quote? Can you think of? 
if someone says no, pretend it's not in English. <laughs> That's still kind of motivational, a little oh, bit. Shit. I was thinking like, if someone says no, just go back to bed. Yeah. Okay. You got any unmotivational quotes you can think of, Royce? I don't know, man. I don't, That's I don't, a tough question. Yeah, I got off the top of the head. Yeah. yeah. I'm if not someone hands you lemons, uh, throw them at them? <laughs> don't put them in your lemonade because it's going to take a lot of effort and time to actually squeeze those and make them into a cup of lemonade. That's true. It's a lot See? of water in it. Wait, I'm very pessimistic this week. Unmotivational. And profound. <laughs> yeah, and profound. Very profound, Cody. I'll give you that. Um... What's your other favorite uh, motivational quote? Like, other do you have one at your house somewhere? Like a Marilyn Monroe quote somewhere? <laughs> just, the pic- just, the, just the picture of her. Oh, Live, that laugh, bed. love. That's it. Yeah. I don't, have, I don't have anything hanging on my walls, if you can believe that. That's fair. <clears throat> um, do you guys cut your sandwiches diagonally? I don't cut my sandwiches. Well, I don't think I really cut them either. Oh, really? I just eat them. I like your style, man. Like a sane I, human being. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd go fuck myself. <laughs> About time, Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> Royce, can you put up a Christmas tree before Thanksgiving? Yeah. Do you? Dude, I leave mine up all year. Oh, God. You, That's fair, actually. No. It saves time taking it down and then put, re-putting it back up. Way more efficient. If you put a Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving, you're wrong, and that's just a fact. Well, you want to know a fun fact? You know who quoted that? Who? Carson King. Oh, did he really? Saw it on his Twitter. Oh, he'll be our guest in two weeks. Yeah. Um, I put my Christmas tree up today, actually. What a low-life piece of shit. It, going into our Kyle McClain low-life piece of shit of the week award, Eric Marsh my nominee for putting his Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving. Well, here's the thing. My daughter wanted it up, and my girlfriend wanted it up. So I said, okay, let's put it up. Now, what I did is I took it out of the box and I set it on the stand. Yeah. And they fluffed it and decorated it, and I watched TV. But it's up. Do you even have a Christmas tree, Cody? No. So why does it matter when people put theirs up? It's just annoying. Like, I don't want to see Christmas before the fucking... Before Thanksgiving. Okay. The last good holiday of the year is Halloween. Thanksgiving's he's, okay. He's kind of angry. <laughs> I told you, pessimistic this week. Do you, need, do you need me to go downstairs and get you some tequila? I'm, I got plenty of Jameson. Keeps me... Oh, keeps pour me up. What's that? Pour up. We got um, one waiting for you. You and Royce. I'm I've been sipping. Down. I've been up since six, man. Oh, damn. That I is got really. Baby waiting for me at home. Oh, that's rough. How old? Nine months. So, Royce, I saw during my research that. <laughs> during our, research, our research team. Uh, <laughs> yeah. our, research our research team, team told me that you. Uh, we can't give him a shout out because he's been kicked out of the bar already. <laughs> he's been up since six doing research. Yeah. <laughs> I have. I read a book today. <laughs> we. Uh, I saw that you grew up riding dirt bikes. Yeah. Were, were dirt bikes in your first love, or was it music? Oh, man, I loved, I loved my dirt bike. I still have... I still have my first bike. It's just a little pit bike. It's a 110 Kawasaki. And then I had a 250 for a while. Yeah. And I rode <clears throat> periodically. So what was your first love? Music, or...? Oh, I, I had a guitar before I had a bike. Yeah? So... <clears throat> Did you start playing guitar before you started playing the piano? Um, no, I, I I played piano when I was younger, but I just didn't, uh, I hated it, man. Piano? Yeah, I yeah. fucking hated lessons. See, if I could pick, I would pick piano, guitar, and then saxophone. I think those are the three coolest instruments. I could see you playing the saxophone. You could be like sexy sax man. <laughs> sex, Cody King, the sex whistle. Nice. Sex whistle. Yeah, oh, dude, you'd, get so, you'd slay so many chicks, man. <laughs> Oh, that's what every every sax player tells you. Yeah, just play George Michael Careless Whisper on repeat. Yeah. Oh, you'd kill it. Have so you ever seen Sexy Sax Man? Uh-uh. Have you seen him? <clears throat> oh, he's fantastic. He goes to the cafeteria and does yeah, it. Yeah, he just has like leather pants on and some suspenders and a fake little rat tail. Nice. And he goes in and just plays Careless Whisper only. In the in the random... Random stores, like a Walmart, a really? mall food court. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's all check it out. So, Royce... Um, yes, sir. I... I've noticed that you have a lot of old cars on your Facebook. Yeah. Do you, do you buy them and restore them? What do you do with them? Uh, yeah, I've always... Um, I like 80s Mustangs and weird 80s turbo cars and shit. Uh, I've just... It's always kind of been a side thing. I've always just picked up toys here and there and drove them around and stopped driving them around. Stop driving around. Just, Better, just leave uh, them wherever they run out of gas. Yeah, man. Better quote for car guy, though. Uh, rubbing is racing, or I live my life a quarter mile at a time. 
the quarter mile at time one is is that it's a fast and furious. I don't like that one. Oh but, man! So it'd have to be the first one. Rubbing his racing is Ricky Bobby. Oh, no, I thought that was Days of Thunder. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. What does Ricky Bobby say? Shake and bake. No, I said Shake I thought he said something bake. else though too. Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. If you, if you see or if you smell something hot and crunchy coming from your tailpipe. That's uh, says something like that. I can't I remember, what I remember what he says. What he said, but well, it's not rubbing his racing. Okay, yeah, all right. Really? Um, so we get into our sponsors. Uh, yeah. So you got, you got I, got I got one more question for Royce. Okay. So me and Marshall have a, I don't know if you call it a bad habit or a good habit of getting drunk and buying random things online. What's the best drunken purchase you ever made? When I, if I'm drinking and, oh man, I'm trying to think here. I think I bought like a MacBook on eBay. What happens when I get okay. drunk? <laughs> if, if I if I get drunk and and I'm and I'm if I'm thinking about buying something like like a gaming rig or whatever. Yeah. Like I'll be thinking about buying a gaming rig for like months, but then one day I'll get tanked and I'll just be like, oh man, I'll get on eBay and I'll start I'll start like really combing through stuff, and all of a sudden I just still a thing? what? Yeah, eBay's eBay still a thing. Oh God, yeah, I buy everything on Facebook. eBay. I've never bought anything on eBay, but. I did back in the day, back when I've I had dial-up. I've been buying on eBay since 2006. Yeah, I always just forget about because I'm just like, I was buying on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. yeah. See, I always buy dumb shit, though. I buy, like, I buy some dumb chucks. What's, what's the dumbest thing you've purchased when drunk, Marshall? Oh, a whole bunch of just like, nin- I got ninja throwing stars. I got nunchucks, uh, ninja katana. <laughs> That's a turn on. Yeah, it was, uh, put that on your Tinder profile. <laughs> absolutely, swipe right on this. <laughs> I got it just all. Just with my shirt, like, fake black belt, my shirt off, just holding these weapons. I got. Uh, you want to get kicked from guy wearing these pants? <laughs> I can I protect you. <laughs> I purchased multiple Al Bundy or Married with Children themed T-shirts online. Oh my god, that's true. I yeah. got me and Marshall. That's uh, a great show. We it got, is. We got a couple. I, I thought that was going to be your answer on the. Love oh, and marriage. Oh, that's Love not a bad answer. Uh, we do have what? No ma'am shirts. Go we got no ma'am. We got like four touchdowns in one in one uh, game. Which also, uh, are you a WWE fan, Royce? Dude, I've never watched anything sports related in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> well, not WWE even. Not WWE because that's not really a sport. But yeah, I get it. It's a sport. They're athletes. They are athletes. Randy Orton stole Al Bundy's move. The no. Or, yes. It's not even the same because he's not holding the ball back. His arms are spread fully out. He's going like this. They're f- oh, you're an idiot. Ugh. <laughs> 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 just getting all super great over here. All right. Well, let's go into our sponsors real quick here. All right. So, Bebop's one of our uh, fantastic sponsors. Um, so, right now, in honor of <coughs> uh, it being Veterans Day this week, uh, they have these sweatshirts I'm wearing, actually. You can buy them. Online. Oh, nice. I'll put the link up on our uh, all of our social medias and everything. Five dollars of every sweatshirt goes to the Wounded Warrior Project. Nice. Um, so they come in this nice little bag, courtesy of a misplaced morals clothing company. Give you this bag. It comes with a keychain. You get two options on keychains. You can get white, black, gray. So you only get two blue. options. You have to four options already. Well, no, no. Sorry for keychains. For sweatshirt colors, you get white, black, oh. gray, red. Royal blue, royal blue, and Carolina blue. Ooh, yeah. So you got those. That's tough between Carolina blue and royal yeah, blue. We will put the um, the link for it on all of our social medias. They're available right now to buy. Um, let me see. I got it right here. Everything that we need for it. Um, yeah, it's just a retro logo hoodie. Five dollars every hoodie. Like I said, goes to the Wounded Warrior Foundation. How um, much are they? Huh? How much are they? Uh, Thirty-two dollars, I believe. Thirty-two dollars. Okay. Yeah, which is also how many years in a row Bebop's has won Best Burger. In nice. City View. Um, yeah. So, uh, Thread Chemistry T-shirts and Print Company, Bebop's Wounded Warrior Project. All putting this little collab together for these hoodies. I got one. I did not get Cody one. I'm gonna make him buy his own so he can donate to the <laughs> Wounded Warrior Project. <coughs> what a what a good friend. Yeah. But uh, so that link will be up on all of our social medias, or you can just message us individually, and we'll send it to you as well. Also, this week we've been talking about it. I finally brought the Lola salsa. What do we got here? What flavors we got? We got the mild. What's that one? This is the uh, sweet roasted reaper. All right, hit me. Which one do you want to try? Mild. Yeah. I bought a bag of. Is that like death right there? This'll be yeah. It's, it's got a little Carolina Reaper in it. So Lola's. 
another one of our fantastic sponsors. They have the uh, variety pack of sauces you can get. You can get just regular sauce, the regular hot sauce, buffalo las. They got a um, Bloody Mary mix. Mmm. That's really good. Oh. It's a good flavor, but it's got a little kick to it. The Roasted Reaper. Yeah. It's very sweet at first, and then it comes and gets you. Let me get, I want to try that sweet chili one. Mmm. Fantastic. I do just a little bit, because as you guys know, so I'm not very good with, with heat. That's okay. Shake well, pour slow. Yeah, so I got the, just a regular salsa. You got the, uh, and then I have the sweet roasted reaper here. Y these are available at most hy V's, but if you don't want to go to hy V and you can't find them there, go to Lolo's website. Any product you want from there, whether it be the uh, hot sauces, you can get the variety pack of hot sauce, which is great Christmas gifts. You can get for, the individual packets. Yep, individual packets, salsas. They also do Bloody Mary mixes. Go on their website, use the promo code Ask the A Ball, 10% off all your purchases. And we will be back after these commercial breaks from our sponsors. And this salsa will probably be Check all gone, too. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? Viva, big tasty burgers, hot crispy fries, and great chocolate shakes. So why do you come to Viva? So the burgers are fresh and fast, and it tastes great. I like the pork fritters and chicken sandwiches. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? There's only one place we go. Viva. Bebop's better than good. Hey guys, Eric Marshall here on behalf of Ask the 8 Ball Podcast, showing off the new Bebop's custom hoodie. Available for a limited time. If you'd like to purchase one, the link is available on all of our social media pages. Also, $5 from every hoodie purchase goes directly to the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, if you don't want to get a black hoodie, they also have white ones, red ones, gray ones, royal blue, light blue, and they come with a free keychain. Again, thanks to uh, Misplaced Morals, uh, Thread Chemistry T-shirts, and Bebops. We hope to see you rocking these hoodies real soon. In fact, get some Bebops while you're at it. Mm. Always fantastic. Chips and salsa is fantastic. Well, <laughs> Cody's on it. We can't promise anything. What's up, do you, bud? Uh, big thanks to our sponsors, uh, Lola's and Bebop's. Uh, this salsa is fantastic. Yeah, we got this first jar about almost half gone already. Also, don't forget these uh, throwback Bebop's hoodies will be available. Just check all of our social Hell medias. Five dollars of every hoodie sold goes to the Wounded Warrior Project, which uh, former guest of the show and good friend of the show, Bruce Huckfelt, big. Uh, Big uh, endorser of the yeah. Warrior Project. Yeah, he does so much for them. Walkie flag guy. Yeah, walkie flag guy. Hashtag walkie flag guy. Yeah. So uh, check them out. Also, Lola's on the website. Anything you want to order, ask the 8-Ball for 10% off all your purchases. Yeah. <sighs> so, Royce, being a singer, yeah. have you ever taken voice lessons? Nope. No? Mm -hmm. If you did, <laughs> and Where did you I were still just a going? terrible singer... <laughs> Like, made your ears bleed singer. Would you ask for a refund? If I took the lessons and I was a horrible... Wait, say it again? If you're a horrible singer and you took voice lessons, mm -hmm. and you like you still made people's ears bleed after the lessons, would you ask for a refund? No. Yeah, it's not their fault. If yeah. your parents bought you lessons, do <laughs> you think they'd be disappointed in you? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> a previous guest of ours, we'll, we'll call her Jennifer... Took voice lessons and couldn't make show choir. So, well, show choir is a different kind of singing. Like for her, like it's good singing. Are you saying she's a bad singer or a good singer? Oh, no, she's a terrible singer. But that's <laughs> fine. She knows that. All right, let's go into the uh, the name game. The name game. What? Who is? Yeah. yeah. It's called the name game. I got Who is? two. You got I two. Think, okay. Yeah. Cody's One. got two. I got five. We're gonna see what we get. The most anyone's got so far is two. So I'm gonna it's give a lot you, tougher than you think. their real name, and you tell me who they're known as. John Roger Stevens. John Roger Stevens. Oh, there's people we know. It's no fam like famous people. Um, no idea. You want me to guess? So, take a guess at it if you want. You got uh, a guess, Marshall? Yeah, John Kenny, Legend. Kenny Rogers. John Legend. Yes. Do you know what's funny about that? 
He had? One, he was one of mine. <laughs> was he? Yeah, he was one of mine for this week. <laughs> nice. So, okay, so I got four. <laughs> uh, my, my other one is Catherine Elizabeth Hudson. Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. Nope. Katy Perry. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's why I saw that. I fooled you guys. I didn't think Kate Hudson. You got as good, you son of a bitch. And that's what I got for... Okay, well, I got I got uh, four more here. Um, this first one, I'll probably pronounce the name wrong. Kind of lobbing it up here to see if you guys can get it or not. Uh, Royce Schweinberg. Is that Royce to 5'9"? No. Royce to 5'9". <laughs> there you guys too? Yeah. No, the correct answer, Royce Johns. Jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Yeah, threw you off there, Cody. You didn't see that one coming, did you? That's my last name. Oh, I literally thought your last name was John's. <laughs> Royce John Schweinbart. All right, you can see why that makes sense, right? Yeah. Second and one. You couldn't guess the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn, I didn't think about it. So th- we only got one right now. Uh, second one, Ryan Daniel <laughs> Montgomery. Uh, Michael Montgomery from Montgomery Gentry. No. No. Mm-mm. No. I don't know. Uh, Royce the five nine. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, threw you off again. Uh, next one, Robert James Ritchie. Lionel Ritchie. Nope. Uh, Little Richard. Nope. Uh, Kid Rock. Wow, his last name is Ritchie? The yeah. smiled sauce making my nose bleed. <laughs> yeah. But it you feels great. You were supposed great. to snort it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it feels so good. Uh, last one. See if you guys get this one. This one's my favorite one so far. Chris Gaines. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks is the correct answer. Ever. What? How can, you not, how can you not like Garth Brooks? No, no, Chris Gaines. Do you Chris, remember Chris Gaines? Chris Gaines. It was Garth Brooks' alter ego. He tried to be like a... I don't know. It wasn't some kind of rock genre. He just tried to branch out and do something different, but he had like long emo hair. It was strange. So what's yeah, his very weird. What's, he, his, so real, what's Chris, his birth name? Garth Brooks. Okay. But he went by Chris so you, Gaines. You reversed it there and fooled me again. He like See? he like lost a ton of weight. And yeah, it was so weird. like it was if you weird. get a chance Google Chris Gaines or if just watch his podcast cuz his picture will be up too. It was the weirdest thing ever. It was he, so strange. When I saw him in concert, he uh matter of fact did none of the Chris Gaines album. I was very upset about it. Speaking of pictures of Chris Gaines, you want to go into pictures of Royce Johns or other pictures we have? <clears throat> yeah, and then after that we can hit the low life piece of shit of the week award. Cut. Yeah. So if you got nominees, start thinking of them. So I kind of touched on this before. Royce, you like old vehicles. Yeah. Did this one come with a sign that said a free candy? Yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was my 2000 Econoline, man. What did you buy an old windowless red van for? To abduct children. <laughs> Jesus. Why else would you buy it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a van just like this. Outside of Betty's, that had a futon in it the other day. <laughs> yeah, I remember you snapping that. Uh, what about this one here? This one here. See, that one you get the children. This one you get their moms with this bad boy. That is actually a really rare. So that's a 84 Mustang GT Turbo. So before, they had like uh, an 85 and 86. They had the SVO. Okay. So it was it was the first fuel-injected Mustang Turbo, fully, fully adjustable ja- gas shocks, like... It was a dope car, right? But they made that. It was the first turbo Mustang. But the thing is, it cost more than the GT, which is like 302 V8, you know? Mm-hmm. So nobody really... It was a flop of a car. So, like, nobody bought them. It looks sweet, though. It had 35,000 miles on it. I bought that in 2011. Yeah, well, one by, owner. By the time you posted this, it said 54,000. Or yeah, fifty-four thousand. That's right. And it's Oops. Five, uh, it's five speed. Wrong Cody, number. Do you know how to drive a stick shift? I do. Yeah. It's a, it's I would a, also. It's a lost start. I wish. That's that's. That's like, how I learned how to. Instead drive. of having the club, you just get a uh, uh, six six speed or five. Yeah. yeah, six shift. Yeah. What's your next picture? Royce, he said, bought a drum set from a guy who had pictures of a band. Do you know who they belong to? Do you ever figure out what band this is? No. No. It's not the guys from... One of them looks like... Uh, looks like Simon and Garfunkel. Looks like one of the uh, little... Or, uh, three mus- or, uh, oh, I had an 83 GLX with 35,000 on it. Okay. It was white with a what are the red... Cars. Larry Curley and Moe, what are they? The three... Three uh, Stooges. Yeah. yeah. This one on the end looks like, looks like Larry. Three... Yeah. Yeah, those guys were actually... They were so terrible, but they were The one on, on my left... Looks like Larry, the like middle middle bald head. Oh, yeah, I can see it. 
Yeah, they um, were funny, man. So th- they were funny. So this picture here uh, is this your favorite place to play music at every week, or not every week, but when you oh can. yeah, yeah. Love love me shotgun Betty's. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that actually your favorite place to play? Yeah, man. That and Beer Can Alley are really good. I don't know. It's Beer Can's got a lot bigger stage though, huh? I don't. It's it's hard to say. It, it all depends how the crowd is yeah, that day. That makes you sense. Know, place really doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. Well, and uh, Shotgun Betty says cooler employees. What's that? Shotgun Betty says cooler employees because they have the walkie flag man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Speaking of, that was my next picture. But also, Bruce. what about his beer he's holding? The greatest beer of all time. That's oh Keystone. Yeah. Absolutely. The nectar is. of the gods. What's uh? It says, two, uh, hashtag tuck in t- uh, 2018 challenge. Yeah. What was the tuck in 2018 challenge? I was gonna tuck in my shirt every time I wore a shirt I could tuck in in 2018. Did you do it? I did it for about a week. <laughs> and then you just didn't like it or what? I didn't like it. Maybe you're the inspiration for Untuck It. Yeah. The new shirts are out. You should uh, grow a mustache. So much you love that. I don't think I. I don't think I'm physically able to. Cody. <laughs> That's about all I can grow. Cody, you just looks like someone just rubbed, like, fucking Dirty Sanchez right across you. Just, like, came up. Give it, like, two more weeks, and I'll be the epitome of a cop. I'm excited for it, personally. Uh, This is my last picture. Um, Makes you a great brother, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot buns? Yeah. What else do you get your 12-year-old brother for his (laughs) birthday? Hot buns calendar and maybe, you know, gift card to Cinnabon. Yeah. Then get some actual hot buns. I've got two, but they're basically the same thing. So this one's... Is that you? That's me. With a little... What was that? A little... 1998, baby. BB gun? Yep. Or what is that? My BB gun. So, And then I've got uh, this one. Yeah. Is that you as well? That's me. With little six shooters? Ciao. <laughs> nice. How old were you with the BB gun? I think that was 98 or 99. So you would have been how old then? Three or four. See... I think you should buy your kids a gun at, th- at a young age, BB gun, and teach them proper gun safety. My yeah, dad bought me a I BB gun at four, agree. and I. So I wanted to buy Marshall's daughter just turned four, and I wanted to buy her a BB gun, but he wouldn't let me. Well, no, because her mom might use it on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's probably deserved, though. Yeah, probably. I'd say something smart and just get a <laughs> BB gun. Shot me in the eye. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're going to shoot your eye out. I had a BB gun. I had airsoft guns. <laughs> and then I bought, uh, bought a paintball gun. And then I got some real guns. Nice. Now. But if you teach the kids at a young age proper gun safety... Nice, Cody. I like you're getting political with it. Nice. What else you want to talk? You want to talk about gays in the military next? What else you want to go on to? Uh, I do want to say thank you to the Marines. Happy birthday, Marines! Yeah, absolutely. It's Veterans Week. Uh, Marines' birthday was this week because um, this comes out Friday, so I'll say <laughs> yeah. it was this week. You know. Uh, so we appreciate all of your service and everything you guys do for us. And uh, and that's the last picture I have, I guess. Well, yeah, I was, I was trying to think what there's something else this week. Oh, the low life piece of shit of the week. No, I just mean like. Oh. It was like Veterans Day and the Marine Corps birthday. I don't know if there's something else. Uh, I'm not sure. That's fine. Uh, not with that being said, but transitioning, we'll go into the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. In a world of Kyle McLean's, only one stands out. It's the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. <laughs> you got any nominees, Royce? Um... <laughs> <laughs> No, not on record. <laughs> not on record. <laughs> Turn the mic off. <laughs> Turn the mic off. Turn the mics off. Cody? Uh, I've got... I only have two. I've only got two as well. Okay. One would be our our uh, Governor Kim Reynolds. God damn it. That was one of mine. <laughs> yeah. Governor Reynolds, just for being really bad at her job. Just basically, like, Raygun made shirts that said, Kim is really bad at this. Speaking of, I'm looking at Raygun right now at this window. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um... Being a politician would be the worst job ever. Oh, 100%. It'd be the easy that job ever. Salesman. You make like, yeah. I car don't know. salesman, politician. Is, Royce, is there any jobs you've ever done that you will never, ever do again? No matter what they pay you? Um, I mean, I'm always willing to go to work. Yeah. Whatever makes sense. Nothing, nothing's beneath me, so. I worked at a hog farm when I was 16. No, I was sophomore, so I've been 15, I think. 15 oh, I'll 16. never work at Applebee's again. I did that in high school. Did you? App, the old apple booze. Yeah. Apple booze. Every Wednesday, just get how, guess how fucked up this is. Every Wednesday, they'd have dollar macaroni night for kids. Oh, God. And they had fucking carpet. 
okay? <laughs> so, like, you got all these just <laughs> packed, all right? All these kids and their fucking macaroni. And you know what they equipped us to clean this macaroni off this carpet with? A broom. Fucking bissels, man. <laughs> bissels. Basically just smearing it into the carpet further. I don't understand why restaurants and bars in general ever have carpet. No. Ever. It's insane. No. It doesn't make sense. Um, I'll never, I worked at a hog farm when I was 15 or 16 and got a, actually got attacked by a boar. Almost died. But I'll never for a million dollars would never work there. Is that again. why you're so good at like navigating the dance floor at Shotgun Betty's on the weekends? What do you mean? Because you worked on the hog farm. They <laughs> caught all the girls at Betty's hogs. No, I'm just saying it's it's like cattle herding in there, but with the hogs. Oh, good God! Shout out to the crowd at Shotgun Betty's. <laughs> just fuck, I can't go there anymore now. Shotgun Betty's Thursday night. Isn't that where you met Tiff? No. Which, oh, you met her at Walmart's, yeah, probably. Yeah. Shotgun Betty's Thursday night. We just get drunk night. at Betty's a lot because yeah. walkie flag guys there. Walkie flag guy. Um, and my last one is so we're tonight at Coa Cantina in the East Village. <clears throat> the grand opening was just last weekend. Last Thursday was like the soft opening. The very first night they're open, selling graffitis the bathroom walls. Now if you haven't been in the bathroom yet, they're super nice, like wallpapered, like this fancy leafy Graffiti wallpaper. with a marker or a spray paint or what? Marker. Welcome to the East Village, bitch. Yeah. And so the person <laughs> who graffitied Coa's Super nice, brand new bathrooms. My nominee for low light piece of shit of the week. That's a very, very good one. Yeah. Uh, my second nominee is Corbin Belling. Oh, okay. So he's done a couple different things. Uh, <laughs> he, he's bitched about not us not inviting him on the show. And then when I have invited him, he's like, oh, well, I can't do that. I need 24-hour notice. So I gi- I've given him a day, two days notice, and he still can't do it. And last week... He proceeds to tell me that I have a style issue with my jeans, and he's been known about it for months and won't tell me about it. That part, that part's fair, though. You do. Thanks for telling me about it. You look stylish. I have told you before. You always said, I don't give a shit about fashion. Er. I don't think I said that, but... Yeah. You said, I got a buckle credit card. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I definitely, <laughs> definitely don't have a buckle credit card. <laughs> I have a buckle credit card. I don't know the last time go. I've been at a buckle. So when was the last time you were in a buckle, Marshall? Bedazzles, motherfucker? Is that where you shop, buckle? No, you ever done the buckle challenge? Yeah. Where you guys touch the back wall? Yeah. That's, yeah. You get out without anyone talking to you? <laughs> that was a topic on our episode with Hartung. Yeah, it was. Buckle yeah. challenge, yeah. Buckle, I don't know. I mean, I know how that place stays in business because I also... Well, don't they force their employees to buy clothes from them every week, too? Well, yeah, but, like, I go out to the bars on the weekends, and I'll see people that I'm like, yeah, they're in shop at the buckle. Because you can just tell. They have that... Uh, it's th- not the like American affliction. Fighter. Yeah, it's like a affliction, affliction. rip almost like shimmery pants and shirt with some rhinestone pockets. Yeah, and just like super faded in the front but dark on the sides. Like it's funny when it's like forty or fifty year old men like they're wearing like super tight shirt. It's affliction, and they, you know they just they just like, before they go out they do like a hundred pushups just to get that swole on. Yeah, do you, I could be I could be making this up, and it's just a rumor. I'm gonna start if I'm if I'm not. Uh, Justin Zimmerman, I think he said, buys his jeans from the buckle. <laughs> DJ Zim. What about, what did he say? I think he buys his jeans from the buckle. I, th- I think he wears buckle jeans. Yeah. Wow. So. Buckle jeans. So and, new and nominee for low light piece of shit of the week. There we Justin go. Justin Zimmerman for keeping the buckle. I used to wear buckle jeans until I discovered American Eagle makes these uh, triple X stretchy jeans. Nice. These, these are like sweatpants. Oh, damn. Those are stretchy. Um, yeah. Get, get a feel. You don't feel, dude. Get, I'm, I'm it it changed, table, That's you. why I hate changed my I life. Hate skinny jeans because I, these changed my life. These are the these are the tightest pair I have. I usually don't wear these. It's just it's laundry day today. <laughs> but dude, I'm telling you what, American Eagles got jeans figured out. I want Levi's out. buckles. Gap Gap actually has some good jeans. I actually use them as my painting jeans because they're tough as fuck. I'm an old navy guy. I, I, like old navy. I like old navy jeans. And they're super like I hate tight skinny jeans because they're too tight. I do too. These, but I, these are but tight. I'll as try balls. some uh, super triple X stretchy jeans. There you go. See? Yeah. No. No. But see, this is the thing. When you go in, they have tiers of stretch. Yeah. And don't be confused because they'll be like extra stretch. And you're like, yeah, that. No. 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 Say, I want the most the stretch. stretch. The stretch. Jeans you There's have. like it's fucked up. They got like five tiers of stretch. It's not like. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five stretch. It's like, got like it, love it. It's like this, like, love it, you know what I'm saying? Extra love it. Make love to it. 
Yeah, it, it's let, like let it's like stay the whole night kind yeah, of love it. Call her Uber in the morning. Yeah, it's like Cold Stone Creamery level of like it doesn't make any sense. They sing to you while they're like putting your jeans on you. Yeah, nice. Does Cold yeah. Stone sing to you? Yeah, I haven't been to you Cold never, Stone in years. God, well, so they used good. to. I haven't either. But I remember it threw me off for some. I was standing there and it, like the whole fucking line started singing like I was at Disney World, <laughs> which kind of made me happy because I love Disney World. But then I was like, shit, I'm just at Cold Stone. What the hell's going on here? No, uh, then all you see, all of a sudden you see Mickey and Goofy just start running uh-huh. at you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, so winner for Low Life Pizza Show of the Week? Definitely whoever spray painted the fucking bathroom. That's just That's disrespectful. Right. That's right. Big thanks to Koa for having us here tonight. We appreciate it. Fuck whoever did it to the bathroom. Royce, uh, last thing for me at least. We like to do a rumor of the week sometimes. You got a rumor of the week you like to start? Uh, no, man. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm in the entertainment industry. <laughs> Last thing I'll do is start rumors. Well, we're in an entertainment industry. We start rumors all the time. Yeah, that's um, the way to do it. You got to split your crowd. Yeah. That's why we talk so much politics. <laughs> uh, rumor of the week. Well, France issued some sort of, or yeah, some, some sort of thing that said, can't leave your house without a pass right now. Yeah. So, my rumor of the week is that uh, vaccines aren't real, and if you get the COVID vaccine, you're going to die. So, let, R- let's let's get, let's get stir that pot. Rumor let, of the week. Let's, <laughs> let's get people all worked up, you know. Yeah, they, they're telling people it works to kill them off. <laughs> the fr- look, the French are going to run the world soon. The they got reacts. the best fries, the, the best fr- toast. The French aren't going to rule anything. Uh, the best I- martinis. We could take over this podcast, over France from here, from this podcast. Dude, my, Fuck the French. My uncle Fuck told me Nebraska. One time. My uncle told me one time. He Fuck said, Ankeny. So do you know why the streets of France are <laughs> lined with trees? Huh? Because the Germans like to march in the shade. It was a <laughs> World War II joke. I didn't get it at the time, but like now I'm older. I'm like, oh, okay. It's kind of funny. It's my only France joke I have. There's probably more on the internet. I'll be next week. I know. I, I know Al Bundy hated the French, and if Al Bundy hates it, it's got to be true. So. Yeah. Um, He's the greatest American ever born, Royce. In case you, in case you didn't know that. That's true. Final thoughts, Royce. Get a final thought, like a Jerry Springer final thought of the week. He stole it from us He's two decades out. earlier. Yeah. My Man. final thought is he must have a time machine because a he hasn't aged. He looks the same. He does. Botox as now as he did when his show started when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And how would he get our idea twenty years before? That's fair. Yeah. Uh, fuck Nebraska. Yep. Fuck Ankeny. Yep. And fuck the French. Okay. Um, my final thought is that I have a podcast and I'm trying to upload it on Anchor, but for some reason, it comes up corrupt on Apple Podcasts. I don't understand really? why. It we works did, fine use, on Spotify, but we use Anchor too. I've never had any issue. Uh, I haven't checked it out on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, I know it works. Yeah, because you don't use Apple. Yeah. Poor people. Marshall, final thought? Uh, final thought. Uh, well, you were talking about fuck everybody, so you left off Taylor Swift. Fuck Taylor Swift. I'd love to. Oh, um, man, I'd love to. Is, is that full circle with John Mayer being one of our questions yes, earlier? Yes, yes. <laughs> fuck Taylor Swift. Uh, also, you know, I like to end thanking people, so thank you, uh, Bebops, for this fantastic sweatshirt, courtesy of Misplaced Morals. Uh, that link will be online, again, for you guys to buy yours. Five bucks goes to the Wounded Warrior Project. Also, thanks to Lola's for this fantastic salsa and the hot sauce. And um, thank just you, remember, veterans. Guys, um, thank oh, you, Royce. Thank you, Koa Cantina, for having us. Check it out. Well, East Village's best new bar. It's a sweet ass little. They got all kinds of fantastic margaritas and everything else downstairs. Micheladas, all, all the stuff you need. <laughs> and lastly, uh, don't forget. At the end of the day, it's night. Oh, one last thing. Uh, Eric Marshall for governor in 2022. That's right. See you guys later. Turn the mics off. (laughs) Turn the mics off.